the hunt from 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, we got another Patreon request movie coming at you guys on the channel here today from the homie That's So Gordo. Shout out to him for requesting this over on Patreon, man. Once again, with these Patreon requested movies, know nothing about this other than the fact that it is a horror slash thriller movie. I haven't seen trailers for it. I haven't read up on it. I just know it's a horror slash thriller and I'm super excited for it, man, because, you know, recently we finished up on the Scream series. You know, I did Halloween Kills and after that I haven't really done, I mean, I did Brightburn, which, you know, was a horror thriller movie as well, but kind of in its own way. And uh, I've been really enjoying the horror stuff I've done as of late and the thrillers and I kind of do want to get back into them more. So I'm super excited to check this one out again from 2020. So it is pretty new. I haven't seen trailers for it. I haven't seen it obviously either, but guys, I'm going to stop wasting time. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this movie before we do. I do ask if you guys are new to the channel, you do hit that subscribe button, comment down below if you guys want to see next man, drop a like on the video for your boy for reaction to be up on Patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff I'm doing. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below, but we're going to go ahead. We're gonna hop into this movie. See what we got? I also don't know any actors that are in this. At least I wasn't told of any actors that are in this. So I'm kind of curious to see if we have any big name actors in this that I'll recognize you guys. No, I'm not the best when it comes to actors. But you know, I know a few of the bigger ones now recognize them easier <laughs> as opposed to before. God damn bro, a group of eight people. Are you telling the, these, all these motherfuckers a giant secret? Sheesh, talk about trust. We love you no matter what. Okay, here goes. What the fuck is it? What the fuck? <laughs> oh. At least the hunt is coming up. Nothing better than going out to the winter and slaughtering a dozen. Jesus, bro. Okay. First reference to the title, we got The Hunt. Ooh, that was kind of nice way to show the title. I wonder if this is gonna be on some uh, Squid Games type shit. You know what, I'm actually in the mood for something a little bit more Mediterranean. Do you have like a grilled vegetable thing? With some You're on an airplane. I'm sorry, sir, we don't, we don't have a kitchen, full kitchen here. Well, fuck. <laughs> this dude's narcissistic as fuck, can already tell. This dude is 100% a narcissist. Oh, fuck, shit, oh, shit. What's going on? What is happening? What about fucking awake, man? Whoa. He said one of them's awake, is this? I'm gonna put you back to sleep now. Okay? <laughs> because you woke up before you were supposed to. Oh, shit. <gasps> what the fuck? We just kill him? So there's other people, uh, so they have multiple people on this plane that are, s that they, you know, drugs. And we can't have you talking about this now, can we? It hasn't man? even started yet, man. Oh, jeez. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Yo, Randy's a savage. Yeah, I think this is like some Squid Game type shit that they either kidnap people or trick people into coming here. Again, I know I keep saying it. I'm assuming this is like they kidnap people or trick people into coming here, put them to sleep, and they're bringing them to some place for some fucked up shit. Shouldn't we all want to help each other if nobody knows what the fuck we're doing here? Oh shit. Yeah, I'm getting like Hunger Game vibes, man. Do some of these people know more than the others? Dude, I think it's an animal. At first I was thinking maybe supply box, but as he went up to it, I was like, it could be an animal. And now the way they're acting, I feel like it is. Oh, okay. Uh, when I said animal, I was thinking more like a bear. So, so some type of like killer. A bear, tiger, lion, something, a gorilla. Oh, shit. Bro, you better grab your weapons quick because you know people are coming. I didn't tell you that much. This gotta help, huh? Yeah. <coughs> All right, there you go. I feel like I've seen this actor in something else before. Was was she in Nerve? I think was the title of the movie. Yeah, it's like you're ready to party, okay? Thanks. 
You're welcome. What was that? I think that was a rifle. Is there? Oh shit! Over there! Oh fuck! You should not have gone through. What in the fuck? You gotta be a special kind of stupid. Come on, let's go. Mom! Bitch, move where? You're running in no man's land. Are you kidding me? Hey, she made it. I mean, that wooden box ain't gonna cover you for long. Oh, she fell in a trap! Oh my god. I fell. It's okay. No, it's not, bitch. She's dead. Fuck it. Run! Dude, that fucking sucks, man. Oh my god. The thing is, too, it's not even like you can really shoot back too much because you don't even know where these motherfuckers are. Dude, this is fucked. There's been a murder spree in the woods at fucking Massacre. It, it, it's Mannergate. I'm sorry, sir. I'm having trouble understanding. Mannergate. I can't Google it right now. Listen to me, okay? We woke that. up with the- I think they're a part of it. I, I am at a gas station. Can you please just trace the call? Of course. That's a, that's a great idea. We'll trace you, sir. I think he's part of this. Okay. Helps on the way. Good. Nah, bro. This is, everybody is in on this. These people in this fucking gas station, those cops, if that was even the cops. Is she okay? Oh, sure, she's fine. How are you? They're a part of it, bro. I would have instantly shot both of them. Instantly, because I know they're a part of it just based off that. Hey, you okay? Yep. Poison. Poison. What happened to her? Poison. This is all part of the fucking setup, man. I think she's dynamic. Damn! Bro, fucking shoot! Shoot, bitch! Oh, you took way too long. Bro, I would've fucking shot. Bro, I would've instantly shot the second she started saying that shit. I didn't believe it for a second, man. I don't give a fuck. Is there anything else? Damn, man. She's smart. Yes, bitch! Cigarettes in Arkansas only cost six bucks. You fucked up, bitch. Damn. <laughs> she really could tell off of how much change they gave her, bro. Bro, I don't know. Those might be fucking... Oh, it's just straight up empty. I was gonna say, those might be fucking poison, too. I wouldn't touch anything in this bitch. Gary, Gary, go. I am not your buddy! Fuck, man. Oh, shit. Is he gonna get it out and throw it at him? <laughs> Fuck! Oh my god! So he was a real fucking actor for this whole Mannergate shit, but all the other ones are real? Uh, I don't know what to believe no more. Fuck. How you get here? Doesn't matter. You need to call the American Embassy. Sure's paper. I don't have papers. Dude, this sucks. I mean, this is smart on their part because if any of them escape, I mean, they can't really escape, escape. You hunted like Dawn? Who the fuck is Dawn? Ring Dawn. They probably already know about all this shit, huh? Yeah. I was heading north when the dogs came after me. Mm. I thought I was fucking dead. Yeah, he was at the start too at the gun selection spot. You don't care why they're doing this to us. They're trying to kill me, I don't give a shit why. She's all business, man. This sucks, man. I mean, this is smart on the, you know, the people that kidnapped them, their part, because it's like they escaped, nobody's gonna believe them, and they're not in America, so, you know, they can't really escape, escape. And I mean, anybody they bring from the US is gonna be a higher up, and they're probably part of it, right? <laughs> probably part of the Manor Gate <laughs> shit. Probably just bring them right bring him right back into the actual trap shit. I would not trust the motherfucker. And now they don't have no weapons either? Shit. No, no, I mean, I'm, I'm just asking, why pick you of all people? You must have done something to pop up on the radar. He mentioned that. Otherwise he knows. He's trying to figure out his beliefs and why he was targeted. 
because he knows. There have to be a reason, is all. Can you think of anything, anything at all, no matter how She's minor, to... that might make somebody want to try something? Oh shit! I did not expect her to do that. What the fuck? No, no, my God. Run that fucker over. Run that fucker over. Run that fucker over. Oh shit! Are you kidding me? The way he was talking and stuff. I mean, I guess old boy probably didn't hear uh didn't hear too much about the other people, like we did. Because everyone is lying. Well, bribe money. Maybe, Damn. Maybe you should. He pays them all off. Please, let's keep your voices down. Why? They're in a car. You hired me to consult you. I'm consulting you. Cool. Stop mm. fucking talking. Sorry, Athena. Well, I'm gonna go take a piss. Who has the hand sanitizer? I hope this asshole gets killed. Rough it. Go fuck yourself, Liberty. Hey, watch out for the trip wires. I know. <sighs> I really hope this asshole gets killed. This movie woke as fuck, bro. The, 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 the shit they talk about and everything like that. I wouldn't expect that to be in a movie like this, you know? All the little political jabs and stuff. Oh, fuck. Hey. Damn! Let's fucking go. Fuck that bitch. Have we even got this main character's name, the blonde chick? I feel like we haven't yet. Like we practice. Mother, leave the rifle sidearms now. Come on, come on. Is it the pig? <laughs> got a butterfly knife. What? The fuck are you guys still shooting for? It was the pig. We could clearly see it. Because you Hey, bitch. There we fucking go! Yes! Fuck all these people, bro. They kidnapped the wrong motherfucker, man. Damn. Shit. She was the one with the arrow the whole time, huh? Should be one in the chamber, no? Yeah, I like that she didn't pull it all the way back. She just checked to see if it was there. Oh, fuck, how did this dude survive? Where did he get shot? Oh my god! Did she just break his fucking hand? God damn! Oh, he had gotten shot in the shoulder, that's why. You might want to tap tap him. He might still be alive. She's Thank obviously you. still alive. Why are you doing this to us? Because Jesus told me to. Do you think you should be afforded mercy just because you're a girl? No. What the fuck? Bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you like not okay with this? These motherfuckers are trying to kill you. Is that his name? You one of them? What? No! I think so. You dropped the gun and answer her. He survived both times. Or he survived this whole time and he got mad both times she killed someone. I don't know who the fuck that is. Shoot her. Drop the gun. Fuck Bitch, I would just pull the trigger. If they're fucking with you, I'm on your side here. Just drop the gun. Yep. I figured. Dawn, is she hurt? Dawn's dead. Because of me. Yeah. Then I guess you better come and get me. This is the head bitch, right? The one that healed the dude at the start. Oh my gosh, man. That was a pretty quick death scene for all of them, shit. I am black. And, uh, I work at a car rental company, and there's nowhere to put that. Damn. So maybe today. She's fucking crazy. Where the fuck is she? Dude, what the fuck? She's crazy too. I mean, not in the same way as these people. She doesn't just kill innocent people, but she wants to kill these people. 
Yep. All these fuckers gotta die. <laughs> I mean, oh shit, flashback. Do you recall a text thread you had with Martin, Peter, Richard, and Liberty amongst others December 17th at 10 o'clock in the morning? I don't recall a text thread I had last fucking Tuesday, Paul. Hmm. Is this the text we saw at the start of the movie? When they were talking about this shit? When they were talking about Manor Gate? We promised not to talk about the Manor on text. Ted, viva el Manor. Liberty, deleting this thread. Are you aware there's an active group of people out there who believe this is a real thing? Believe what's a real thing? That you're hunting human beings for a sport. Not funny. <laughs> <laughs> First time we saw her face. One joke. Wasn't funny. It wasn't real. I mean, I wish this didn't happen. I really do, but this idea is out there, and these people believe it, and they're not going away. And a year later, it did happen. People believe I'm hunting human beings at my manor. What fucking people? Mm, okay, that's why they got him. USA. He's got a pop. This is why they got every single person, huh? It's the fake U.S. Embassy guy. Oh, oh gross. big name Shane. Trigger warning. I'm oh, sorry. Oh. I think the pick speaks for itself. It's an eight point. That was the guy, the crisis actor. Listen, I want to slaughter all of them just like everybody else here, okay? But our military consultant says we got to cap it out at 12. Why? It's our first time. Same. Oh, this is their first time actually doing it. Fuck this bitch. Athena Stone murders innocent men. And I don't women. need to hear more. Hmm. That's our snowball. Damn, man. This is going to be the showdown. It's cool that they showed us the exact reasons they chose each person and stuff, but... This is fucking crazy, man. The only way to properly slice tomatoes is with a bread knife. Did you kill Don? Of course. Uh-huh. Because I convinced you he was one of us? Maybe. Maybe not. Bro, if he wasn't, that's Don's fault for being a dumbass. I just know that you're crazy. I am crazy. She's a narcissist. But I'm not crazy. And if you know you're crazy, then you're not crazy. So that just makes me really, really mad. No, that still makes you fucking crazy. This reminds me of the ending scene of Get Out with the bitch fucking eating the Cheerios, looking for her next suspect, her next victim. You decided to go on the internet and run your stupid mouth. She's still obsessing over that, bro. The go you posted this on a message board under the screen name Justice for Y'all. I want to make sure I get it exactly right. She's mad she talks shit about her. Narcissistic as fuck. Athena Stone murders innocent men and women for sport. The evidence is all there. Mm -hmm. In case you were still on the fence, she fucking admitted to it in a text message. All caps. I mean, I guess it's kind of because it ruined her life, so to speak. Or she lost her job. We were joking, but you ignoram I took it literally. You actually believed we were hunting human beings for sport. So you proved him right. You wanted it to be true, so you decided it was. Hmm. Narcissistic psychopath, bro. Now, do I have to keep listening to Beethoven, or can we fucking get on with it? Yeah. <laughs> this lady is narcissistic as fuck. All these people were. Is that one of the special bottle of wines that's like 250k that they were talking about at the start? You need a gun now, bitch! That's fucking cheating! Yeah. I'm sure there's gotta be more guns around the house, right? This could be one of those fucking gruesome endings where the bad guys, so to speak, kind of win. I could see this movie ending like that. Oh shit. Or they both die. That's one way to fucking do it, man. Damn. I got that right, Chris, didn't I? No, man. Damn. You did not. That's all she cares about still when she's dying, man.
the thing is, had she got the right crystal, the right crystal probably wouldn't have been as badass as her jackrabbit. Like the story. She's the jackrabbit. She gonna end up living? How the fuck is she gonna get back to America, bro? Oh my god. Oh shit, carterized the wound. Fuck that. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, but fuck. Oh. Assholes you worked for tried to kill me. So I killed them instead. Is that gonna be a problem? Certainly not, ma'am. No. I mean, these people on the airplane, they just trying to get their money. They ain't fucked up. So I'm sure she ain't gotta worry about them. How is it? It's fucking great. Damn, man. What a fucking movie, man. I didn't expect it to have all this, like, kind of woke shit, political shit, and everything like that in it, you know? Um, the Hunt from 2020 is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. Going into it, I, I, I will say I did expect more horror to it. I didn't really feel any horror aspect to it. Um, it was definitely a thriller, though, for sure, man. A lot of fucking intense moments in it. And I guess it just... I. I I don't, I didn't know what to expect going into it as always, you know, with these movies I go into on blind, but I didn't expect it to be this serious for some of the stuff, man, you know, like for them to have all their specific reasons for why they chose who they cho chose. I thought it was going to kind of be at random, not to, not like all these specific political reasons or things they support or like things they don't support or things they're against and stuff like that. You know, everybody has their own kind of beliefs and stuff and i know people like nowadays bro political talks and stuff amongst each other cause so much fighting and everything like that but what a fucking movie man i didn't i i, I honestly fit, figured we would have a lot more survivors than just her at the end too than just crystal like so obviously she said this she wasn't the right crystal but that still was crystal so if they had gotten the right crystal i bet you they would have ended up killing all the people they brought here because i bet you the right crystal wouldn't have been as badass as her and been able to take them all out so had they not made the mistake of getting that crystal bro they probably would have been fine and probably would have continued to do this time and time again. And it's funny because, you know, they say they, they had never done this and they were just joking about the manor gate and whatnot. And that, you know, all the shit talk and people did online and, you know, the conspiracies people brought up and everything led them to actually doing it because all of them lost their jobs and their lives were ruined because of it. So they're like, people are saying we're doing it, so we're going to actually do it anyway. And it's like, well, y'all motherfuckers were the one who were joking about doing it in the first place. So is it really the people's fault online for saying you guys were doing it? Because you guys... We're talking about it in the first place, which is what created those rumors, you know? But every single one of those motherfuckers, bro, well, I guess not every single one of them. Most of those people, narcissistic psychopaths, bro, 100%. Especially uh, Athena and... Uh, I think his name was Richard, the asshole from the start that was uh, on the plane talking about the wine and shit. Those two both fucking narcissistic assholes. The old lady and old guy at the gas station, I don't think they were narcissistic or anything really, but they were definitely fucking psychopaths, man. You know, and definitely extremists, all these people, man. And it's crazy, you know, I, I get this is kind of uh, points to some stuff that there's conspiracies about going on in the real world and whatnot. And I don't know. I didn't expect this from this movie. I thought it was going to be a lot more horror to it. It was definitely a lot more gory than I fucking thought. This is like saw level gore, man. And holy shit. It was dope to see Crystal getting back alive. Dope as fuck. I mean, I don't know how she's going to go back to her normal life after this. I'm assuming when she get, gets back, she's got to fucking report all this shit. Like there's no way she can just get back and go back to her normal life. In reality, I guess technically she could because, you know, the only people that really know about this now or that know she survived are the pilot and the um, other person on the airline, you know. So I don't know what the fuck the plan would be. I'm assuming we're not going to have any sequels to this with the way it ended because obviously she took everybody out that was doing the Manor Gate stuff. But holy fuck, man. Uh, I'm a little fucked up from this movie. I'm not going to fucking lie. But once again, shout out to homie That's So Gorda for requesting this over on Patreon, man. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, if you guys enjoyed this reaction video, make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button for reaction to be up on Patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff I'm doing. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one.
what is going on everybody i hope you guys all did enjoy that video you just checked out if you did make sure to drop a like and comment down below what is a movie or tv series that you guys would like to see me react to next want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on patreon man shout out to the homie that's so gordo the homie Silas Kane and the homie Alexander Collins. I appreciate your guys' insane support, man. If you guys want to join the Patreon family, link is on screen right now as well as in the description down below. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.